This time on Mike Peters' Amazing World of Toys, I wanted to share with you a couple of my mechanical toys. Um, so the first one is a mechanical singing bird. And uh, this one goes back, uh, the story of the mechanical bird goes back uh, a little way. Um, back in 2017, I was on vacation um, in New York. I was in Manhattan and uh, I had uh, just been wandering around looking in some stores and I eventually met, found my way at the Diamond District and down to the Antique District. And I saw in the window of an antique store, no prices obviously, but... Uh, there was one of those uh, musical boxes that has a little bird that pops up and, and sings. They used to have one at the in the opening titles of the Antiques Roadshow, I think, um, a few seasons back probably now. But anyway, and it always fascinated me. I thought they were a lovely thing, a lovely little piece, of, a bit a, whim, a whimsy. Anyway, so I went into the store and there was no price. And I just asked the, uh, the man in the store um, about it. Um, and uh, he was very kind. He obviously could tell probably by the way I was dressed that I was not in the uh, market for how much it was. But I didn't have a clue. There was no price anyway. So he sat down and he showed it to me. It was truly exquisite, you know, with little tiny bellows that allows, makes the bird sing. Little bird flips up anyway. And uh, then he came to the price. And it was, uh, yes, sir, it's uh, $12,000. So, um, okay, so I, not quite what I was looking for. I made my um, excuses uh, and left. And then... Oh, I don't know, two or three years later, I was walking around and I saw in his toy store, I saw this, which is a uh, a toy that's made by the uh, uh, made by the Schilling Company. Um, uh, Schilling Inc., I think they, they, uh, their, their title was, Schilling Toy Company. Anyway, um, it is uh, a mechanical bird um, um, and uh, you wind it up and it sings. And it certainly wasn't $12,000. No, I think it was like four, four pounds or four dollars or something like that. Um, anyway, yes. So I'll just give you, I won't wind it up for very long because it's, uh, it, there's no way to switch it off once it's wound up. But it's very, very sweet. I'll let, I'll let it run for a bit so you can see it. You can hear it too. It sounds like a little bird, doesn't it? Singing in its cage. Um, so just like the the antique one, it, it, it has exactly the same mechanism. I'm not sure if you could, if the camera will be able to focus in on there. Uh, but inside, under where the little bird is, inside uh, inside the part of the cage in there, underneath, there's a little bellows that makes the bird sing, and it's operated obviously by uh, by the clockwork motor that you wind up. And also the move that makes the little movement makes the bird bird move. But I just think, what a lovely little toy! And indeed, the um, shilling toy ink um, it was cheap. But I, I just before I made this, I I just had a quick look online, and I think they're selling for forty dollars now. It might be, yeah. Imagine, I think it might be because shilling the shilling company changed hands, and now someone else it was. Sh Ben Schilling, I think, or, 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 or I'm sorry if I'm getting his name wrong, but um, yeah, Mr. Schilling and his two brothers, I think, um, they are a company out in Boston. Um, they are a toy company, toy manufacturers, and they wanted to make toys of whimsy, but, but they were mechanical. There was no, nothing electrical about them, and that's exactly what this is. And so, yeah, that's why I have it in my collection. It's a for, It was a, was affordable <laughs> when I got it, but it's a cute toy. I think it's a lovely toy, and um, I just think it's incredibly charming. Um, um, just a toy, really, I suppose, from another time. But, yeah, I think it's it's the um, most humane way to keep a caged bird, <laughs> I think, anyway. Um, my second mechanical toy, um, he dates back, ooh, he comes from at least 1988. Well, that's when I got him. Um, I was very fortunate back in 1988 to go back. And he comes from another time and place, too. He comes from... Um, a place that no longer exists. He comes from the Soviet Union. I was very fortunate to be able to visit there um, back in 1988. And uh, when I was there, um, it was uh, very different uh, to how it is is now. Um, when I visited Moscow and uh, 
Leningrad as they were then, St. Petersburg. And um, yes, when I visited, um, uh, being a tourist, there was, um, you had tourist stores called Biryoshkas. And so I call him Biryoshka Bear. He's Biryoshka the Bear. And I love him um, because he's very simple. Uh, you probably saw his mechanism work there, but I, I'll present him to the, he can do his little magic trick for you. And he's hand carved. So you push the button and the ball rises and then boom, it disappears. He's a magician. He's doing a magic trick. But I love his features. He's all hand carved. His face has so much character. I just think he's lovely. So he's Biryoshka the bear. I love him very much too. But his also what I really like about him is his pose. He's got a, such a great pose, the way he's standing. And that he's he's you know you can see that each of those little things he's been hand carved he's really he's so cute and so simple but yeah from a different time and a different place but a, a, a vanished time and a vanished place I should say but yeah he's very special too so I just wanted to share those with you I just think they're very lovely charming toys <laughs> in my collection so thank you for joining me um, keep collecting. Stay safe, uh, like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you next time. Bye.